Well, good afternoon. Uh, this afternoon, I want to make some uh, Finnish cupcakes. Now, I don't know if this is truly uh, a cupcake from Finland. Uh, I got the recipe out of the newspaper a long time ago. And uh, the first time I made it was in March of 1987. And I have a note here that Brent likes it. Easy to make. So the recipe calls for two-thirds cup of stick of butter, two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of cardamom, and a cup of milk. And uh, halfway through the baking, you brush the tops with a beaten egg and sprinkle with sugar. And uh, it makes 12 cupcakes, and you bake them at 400 for a total of about 20 minutes. So I've already gotten all my stuff out to make sure I had everything, because I hadn't made these in a long time. So uh, let me get started. <clears throat> I put my butter in the microwave for about 10 seconds and just left it in there so it would get a little soft. And I am using unsalted butter. You can use salted if you want to. But since I since I watch my sodium, I just buy unsalted butter. Measure out two cups of flour. This is an uh, all purpose flour. Okay, it's probably just over one and three quarters cups, but by the time I sift it, it'll come out to about two cups. It's a nice day today. Sun shining. I see the little violets blooming in the yard. And that old dogwood my mother planted years ago. It's got it's got the flowers blooming on it. Well, I don't think they're actually flowers. They're more I think it's more like a bracket you know like poinsettias that that red is not really a it's really not the flowers it's the leaves but it's still it's a nice day Okay. Now I need a half a cup of sugar. And 
two teaspoons of baking soda. That is baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda. And I think I like the uh, baking soda coming in these little plastic jars instead of the box. I like that. And a teaspoon of cardamom. Gonna make a little bit of a mess with flour going everywhere. Uh, let me smash up that butter just a little bit. of milk and I don't want to use my my plant-based milk so I've gotten a, a five ounce can of evaporated milk I'm going to pour that in here this measuring cup and just put water for the rest of it to make a cup that in. I think there's not much left in here. I think I'll get enough to... Okay. Now, let me put the... Put it in there. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've made cupcakes of any kind. Cupcakes, cakes, breads, all that. I hadn't been doing it. You know, when my, when my family was here, I did all kinds of cooking and baking and stuff, but, you know, just being by myself, I don't, I don't care about cooking all that for me. Because I'll eat it. Hmm. 
that dough or batter rather. It feels good. Got that in there. I thought I was being so smart today, getting all my ingredients out and everything. I forgot to preheat the oven. So I guess what I'll do is I'll pause this video and I'll come back, I guess, after they're ready. I don't know why I haven't been using this pause button before, but I'm going to use it today. Okay. I'm back. Uh, the cupcakes have uh, cooked for 10 minutes and now I'm going to brush them with a, a beaten egg. They are going to get really brown because my bottom burner doesn't work. Just the top burner. So I have to be very skillful in using my oven. Okay. Sugar on there. I guess that's just kind of to your taste, whatever you want. Sorry, I'm not talking very much. But then again, I'm concentrating right now. Okay, I'm going to put them back in the oven for 10 more minutes. Timer for ten minutes. Okay. Well, when they're done, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It's been a little while. Uh, I had to stop because there were seven deer out in my backyard. So, of course, I had to watch them for a while. Then my oldest daughter came down to get some rice. And uh, we sat down and talked for a little bit. <clears throat> you know, it's nice having my daughter up the driveway. You know, because I can just, you know, she can borrow a cup of sugar from me. Or I can buy borrow a cup of sugar from her or whatever. But anyway, the cupcakes 
are finished. They're ready. I haven't tasted one yet. Let me move this down. They smell really good. When, when my daughter came in, she said, Mmm, I smell something good. And uh, I told her she would buy me some uh, vegan butter. I've always got plant-based milk that I would make her some and just leave off the brushed egg on top. So I'm going to try one. I don't really like eating with my teeth in. But I'll do it for y'all. Because they do smell really good. <clears throat> Let's see. Gonna, I think I'll just cut one instead of biting into it. Because that's harder for me to do. Okay. Ooh. I don't know if you see the texture of that. Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> yeah, you could put some <clears throat> you could put cinnamon or mace or I don't know. If you put allspice in there you'd have to put very, very little. Um but yeah, I think that would be a nutmeg might be good in there. But yeah, that's really good. And I thought they turned out real pretty with their tops a little cracked with the little sugar on there. So, I'll let that be today's video. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you'll subscribe, like, leave a comment, and... Uh, We'll talk, hopefully tomorrow, about the sourdough starter. So, I'll see you and have a good evening or a good day, wherever you are. And I'll see you later. Bye.